Okay, so the first thing to do is look at the mass that was expected. We are assuming uh, a yield of 95%, and 95% will give us 550 grams of sodium azide. What we need to do is calculate what would be the expected mass for 100%. The way we do that is we take 550 grams, we multiply it by 100, and then divide by 95. That will give us the expected mass for 100%. Then, once we've got that mass, and we can calculate the molar mass, or the relative molecular mass, the sodium azide, then we can calculate the moles of sodium azide that represents. After we have, after you have calculated those number of moles, look at your stoichiometry, your reacting ratios, and you will see that you need twice as many moles of sodium amide. Then you can calculate the molar mass of sodium azide, and using your uh, your regular calculation, okay, so of uh, moles times molar mass, you can calculate the mass of sodium amide. Okay, I hope this helps.